ABC's Juju Chang spent some time with the storm victims in the beachfront community of Rockaway, and she's reporting again from there this morning. Good morning, Juju. Good morning, George. We're in the Rockaways, where a group of New Yorkers, a group of friends, organized online, and they're here distributing hot coffee and donuts, which is about as good as it gets on a bitter cold morning. But you know, George, I've been out in the storm in the hardest hit areas in New Jersey and Staten Island, and here in the Rockaways. And when you see a disaster of this magnitude, you just know that the need is so staggering. People here need everything from heavy machinery down to baby wipes. So we tried to drill down to the four most important things that they keep asking for over and over, and you might. Be surprised at the list we came up with. I just want to see this community saved, and uh, there's there's a lot to save here. For Cody Duran and his sister Mariah, 80 years of family history gone. They're combing through the muddy mess for generations of memories. This is a Bible, and you know old old yearbooks. Wow. Uh, I tried to peel the pages back, but um. They're ripping already, so. 1946. Yeah. <laughs> so the most important stuff for us to save was the pictures. Give me a sense of what this community needs to rebuild. Garbage bags, cleaning supplies, gloves, water would be really helpful. I talked to Betty Duffy and her daughter Megan, who weren't so lucky. After the flood came an inferno. Right now, they say people need simple things. Most of us went out of here with what we had on and maybe one other outfit and now we come back and we have no clothing, no, no anything. It's the really, truly valuable things in there that are invaluable that you miss. Things you can't replace. In the hardest hit areas, George, what we heard over and over, the most surprising thing they needed was porta potties. People seem to be getting bottled water okay, but when there's no plumbing, it's the one thing people were getting testy about one week out from the storm. Two, people want generators. There are literally thousands of homes up and down this shoreline with flooded basements, and the only way to get that water out is through pumps, and so they need generators. On a more personal level, people were asking for flashlights and batteries. That was number three, because once it gets dark, it's downright spooky. And number four, people were asking asking for cleaning supplies. They are in major salvage mode, so they need things like garbage bags and paper towels. But you know, George, I had a chance to talk one-on-one -on -one with the FEMA chief, Craig Fugate, yesterday, and he wanted to remind everything, everyone that while it's nice and personal to give and donate goods and food, what people really need at this moment is cash to organizations that are already on the ground. It just adds another layer of complexity if you show up with goods. But George, that's why what we're doing with the telethon is so Abs important. Absolutely right, Juju. Thanks very much. We want to funnel that money through the Red Cross. That is why all morning long, our ABC family and friends are manning that phone bank right there. Call 1-800-HELP-NOW to donate for hurricane relief. And we just found out, you know, a lot of calls are coming in. You might get a busy signal. If you get a busy signal, make sure you call back. We are so excited by the response.